Baroy. So this is the video about the recap of what I have learned during last week class. So last week I have learned mainly about two things. The first one is about the capital budgeting and the second one is about the analysis of securities. So capital budgeting is a process to help the investor to decide whether to accept or to reject on a long-term investment proposal. So there are four concepts in the capital budgeting. So the first concept is to estimate the future cash flow. The second concept to evaluate the project based on the capital budgeting and evaluation criteria. The third one is to decide whether to take it or not to take the project. And the last one is to consider whether the project is a mutually exercise or it's an independent project. So while doing the capital budgeting, there are several methods that investor can use. The first one is the method of using the payback period. However, payback period has several weaknesses. The first weakness is that it doesn't calculate the time value of money. And the second one is the measurement of time limit is not objective. The second one is to use the net present value where um, it calculates the present value of the project in the future. The third one is to use the profitability index and the last one is to use the internal rate of return. For the internal rate of return, as long as the internal rate of return is higher than the bank rate, so it's a good way to go project. The second one that I have learned is about the analysis of securities. So in the analysis of securities, normally investor will use the fundamental analysis that include the domestic and global economic analysis, industry analysis, and company analysis. So what normally the investor do is they will look at the financial statement of a company that they want to invest. And in the financial statement, there are three main statements. The first one is balance sheet. The second one is income statement and the third one is the statement of cash flow and there are several ratios to identify the healthy healthiness of the company's financial the first one is the liquidity ratio profitability ratio activity ratio leverage ratio and market ratio so that's all that i have learned during last week and thank you